company and what y'all already are. But let me just say this, you know, everybody that's coming out tonight to do that shit, they were calling for it. And I know you guys were calling for your tickets. So let's just, you know, give everybody respect and, you know, just applaud them for, you know, coming out and doing that shit. All right, we got all that dry and shit. We ain't doing that tonight. Everybody, we're going to have a good time and we're going we gonna to chill. If it ain't funny, laugh. Y'all know what the fuck I'm trying to say. Just laugh. <laughs> all right. All right. Thank you very much, ma'am. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How y'all doing? Everybody good, good. Um, I thought most of y'all have never seen me on stage before. Um, I'd like to start off by asking this very, very important question. How many of y'all are Christians and you live your life as a Christian? Raise your hand. Okay. I'm going to ask this question again because I see some of y'all drunk right now. And I smell weed up in here too, so if the cops keep getting a dog, I'm snitching on everybody. I'm an advocate for snitching. Um, but no, two years ago, I made the decision to get baptized, um, getting my life to Jesus. But I realized, following Jesus, you can't be that same person you was before. When I came out the water, I was different. I gotta be different. You know, and I realized I got a very bad temper. Little, little things piss me off. And which is exactly why I don't eat a Chick fil A, Popeye's chicken, and Wendy's. Now, before y'all judge me, how many of y'all sick and tired of going through the drive thru? And they'll give you one pack of barber sauce, barbecue sauce, when you can order 20 piece nuggets. Sick of it. Every time I go through that drive thru, I get a 20 piece nuggets and they give me one pack of barbecue sauce. And every time you ask them for one, it's always this mean black lady with balls popped in her head. It's the same lady I go to the same one. And she always got this funky little attitude. How you doing, ma'am? Um. I know Shola gave me one pack of barbecue sauce. Is that all right if I have another pack of barbecue sauce, man? Is this how she... I'm sick of you coming through this drive through every other day asking for an extra pack of barbecue sauce. Be happy with what you got. You know what? I'm 16 years old. I'm about to have my fourth baby. I don't know what my baby daddy said. I'm sick of this. Get out of my line. I'm sick of this. I'm just like, hey, <laughs> whoa, whoa. I ain't asking for my story. Man. Just give me that extra pack of barbecue sauce and I'm gone. Some of us that may be mad too, man. I'm sick of these gas prices. All right, so y'all see these gas prices? Yes. This is how mad I am about gas prices. I was just that shit. I'm on E. I put $15 in my gas tank. I'm still on E. I'm like, what the? I get back to the store. I'm like, did I put my gas? What kind of nonsense is this? I'm still on E, right? I got to go right there after the show. I got to go right back to get gas. Made no sense, man. And I'm sick of these. It's a lot of crackheads out here, too. How many of y'all live out here? This is crackhead, right? I can't go to the gas station to get gas out of crackhead. Hey, man. Hey, man. Look, man. I got a, I got a baby mama at home, a side chick, and a wife, man. You spread me a little bit of chance, but I ain't give you nothing. I ain't give you nothing. I ain't got no money. Always coming up to my window, man, knocking on the Oh, you look like you got a little bit of money. Can you help me out? No, I ain't giving you nothing. And then think about crackheads. They ain't the same as they crackheads. They come up to your door. Yeah, man, come on, man. Help me out, bro. Help me out, man, man. I ain't hating sick phase, bro. You ain't hating sick phase? How you get that crack, man? Huh? Where you get that cigarette from? How much you got that cigarette? $25? You don't get a piece, uh, piece of bubble gum at the, at the corner store. I know. But, uh, man, I'm going to tell y'all something. This is really going to shock y'all. Y'all are really going to be shocked at this. I got made fun of a lot in hospital. I, I know, no, I know, I know, I know. Hey, I got made. High school was brutal, man. They used to call me all types of great value because they like my clothes. Let me ask, do I look like Trump on a Bernie Mac show? Look at me. Do I look like Trump on a Bernie Mac show? I am sick of being called Jordan. And it's messed up because we both have braces at a certain point. We both got asthma. Am I, am I him? Like, what my check said? Oh man, call me all types of names, man. No, I'm just girl, man. In mean, how still I have this condition? Don't laugh. It was a very serious condition. I grew up. I had this condition where my lips was real white and they'll get real chapped. Yeah, yeah, I know it was gross. It was gross. But but no, it was, it was a serious condition. And this girl, man, she would always make fun of me, man. And one day she just came on the bus. I'm out of my own business. You know, read my book on the bus like everybody doing in high school. Read their books on the bus. And she gets on the bus and tell me if y'all heard of this disease before. She says, hey everybody, Jason Williams has crust 
does he lift idols? <laughs> what in the world does Christ lift idols? Have you ever heard of that before? No. Me off, man. So I said, you know what? No, you know what? I ain't going out like that. I ain't going. Out. I went home that night, got a pen and paper, wrote down some jokes. I said, I gotta get her back. I gotta ruin her life now. Cause you ain't about to say I got crushes and fighters and let us get another day. That's just not gonna happen. And I realized she had a flaw. Ball spots in the back of her head, like you can't connect four and stuff on the back of her head. And I was like, you know what? I got it. I got it. And she had the little fake eyelashes where, you know, she rubbed her all the eyelashes come off. So I was like, all right, cool. Woke up the next day and I said, you know what? I'm going to get on this bus and I'm going to just say my joke that I got to say. I got on the bus. <laughs> got to go for it. I said, hey, girl, look at me in my face when I'm talking to you. Girl, girl, I said, look at me when I'm talking to you. I got something I got to say. Because I'm tired of this crusty little fight that's a joke from the Bernie Mac show stuff. I'm sick of it. I ain't having it no more, girl. I'm sick of it. Girl, you so bald-headed that I can see your thoughts. I'm Jason Williams, y'all. Thank y'all. <laughs>